Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV. It's the show where you watch and learn. I'm your teacher, Philaris Stirit. Today we'll be taking you through English from 2 lesson 6. Our topic will be on writing and the subtopic we're going to do the invitation letters. Welcome. I expect you as a learner by the end of the lesson you'll be able to define invitation or what are invitation letters and describe the guidelines for writing invitation letters. So in the uh, in writing invitation letters, first we can say invitation letters are special letters that you need to write from time to time. The different kinds of invitation letters and they differ slightly in the way they are written. Uh, and guidelines for writing invitation letters is that you should know the address of the person sending the invitation. You must it must have a salutation. That's greetings. You should clearly you should state clearly what the invitation is for. That's the purpose of invitation. If necessary, mention whether those attending should dress formally or casually. Depending on the on the occasion, you should state whether you are you are the people attending to your wedding or birthday, how and how they should dress. Uh, number five, you should give a definite date, time and place of the event the invitation is being made. If necessary, provide an address and possibly a map of the venue of the event. And number seven, write in sincere tone that makes the people invited want to attend. Those are the guidelines of writing invitation letters. You can see here is my example over there. Uh, this is Jacob Girls High School, PO Box 211, Nakuru. That is the center's address. You can see the postal code and the date on your right hand side. On the left is salutation, dear Anne. On Monday, June 29th of this year, my dad will be taking me to Mombasa for a vacation since he had promised me that he will be taking us to the outskirts of our hometown in order to enjoy ourselves. Charles, would you like to join us? We are planning to leave at 8 o'clock in the morning. If you are willing to join our company, us, we can pick you at your home place at around 7.55 a.m. And make sure that you inform your parents that we shall spend one week during the vacation. It will be very good if you spend the whole week together since you are my friend. Your company will be highly, highly appreciated. It is my hope and dreams. It's my hope that your parents will grant you the permission. I'm looking forward to reply as soon as possible. You can see signing out to your friend, Winfred Kazuyuki. So, if someone writes to you an invitation letter, you must also write to them a reply to show whether you are attending and if you're not attending, what are the reasons as to why you're not attending to the invite. So, in, re in reply of invitation letters, when you receive an invitation to attend, a certain function, you should be polite enough to reply. It's important to know the following when replying to invitation letters. Your reply should be prompt. It should tell the sender whether you intend to attend the function or not. And even if you cannot go, your letter should show your appreciation of having been invited. And also you should give a reason if you are unable to accept the invitation. Let's look at an example of a reply from Anne. Jacob Girls High School, P.O. Box 124, Nakuru, 28th June. Dear Winfred, how lovely is it among your friends that you have chosen me to accompany you on a trip to Mombasa specifically for the vacation. The invitation has most welcome since it has been my dream to visit the coastal region. You cannot imagine how much I'm looking forward for that day. I have talked to my parents and they have agreed. It's as a result of our friendship that has enabled my parents to grant me the permission to accompany you. We've come into agreement that I'll let them know the experiences and how adventurous it was after we are back. Thank you for the invitation and being a loyal friend to me. You are friend Anne. We can see this is an example of a reply from Winfred to Anne replying to the invitation to the coastal parts of Kenya. What we notice in the uh, reply is that he accepts the invitation and gives the date and even promises and thanks their 
person, the friend who invited her to the coast. Uh, so today we're going to have an assignment on the over the same. Imagine that you've been invited by a certain company for a certain promotion and you're not able to go. Write a suitable reply declining the invitation. Remember to be courteous in your writing and polite. For our reference, you can refer them to Exiling in English Students Book 2, published by the Kenyan Literature Bureau. You can also contact us on our SMS line as posted over there on YouTube, Elimu TV, Facebook, Elimu TV, Twitter, at Elimu TV underscore KE. Thank you for the lesson. Till next time.